So the clips that we're all looking forward to on Monday, August 21st, is when the moon is going to come into the path of the sun and will completely block it out for a little bit more than two minutes. And we happen to be in the path of its totality in Nashville, which is why we're so excited about it here at St. Cecilia. So this is a little different from a lunar eclipse where the Earth's shadow goes in front of the moon. We're talking about a solar eclipse. So the thing that's being eclipsed is the sun, not the moon. Well, there are a lot of things that you can do during an eclipse that you wouldn't get the chance to do anytime else. So for just a few moments, the sun is gonna be blocked out and you get to see what the sky looks like beyond the sun and you're reminded when everything's black, you start to see other stars. And you don't always think about it, but the stars don't go away at night, they're just blocked by the sun. So one thing that was really important about 100 years ago when there was an eclipse was Einstein was coming up with his theory of general relativity. And during the solar eclipse that happened in 1919, they got a chance to see what the light from the stars behind the sun looks like as it comes past the sun. And according to Einstein, because the sun is so massive, the light from those stars should be bent as it comes towards us. So they took advantage of a solar eclipse, just like the one that we're preparing to see, in order to test that theory. And it was the first time that Einstein's theory of relativity was proven to be accurate. Well, you think of an eclipse, oh, it's, it's a neat moment in history, and, and it really is. But you just think about the way that our solar system is designed. You think the moon is a rock that's close to the Earth, but it's so much smaller. It's millions of times smaller than the sun. But for just a few moments, it is the exact same size as the sun in the sky. Imagine the Earth is at just the right distance away from the sun that that can happen. If the moon was a little smaller, or if the Earth was just a little bit farther away, we wouldn't have this eclipse that we have. It's just amazing that the moon and the sun get to be the same size and the same spot of the sky just for this moment.